Hey guys, it's Zarek, and I'm here with yet another lazy farm. This time, it's Laystone. You can obtain this through mining or from Bloods of Sargeras. I've ranked up my Laystone deposit and living Laystone rank 3 so we can properly test this. Yes, you heard right, living Laystone. Firstly, I mined each of the Legion zones for one hour. Here are the results. In Azuna, I mined 687 Laystone. 236 Felslight, and 5 Bloods of Sargeras. In Velshara, I mined 684 Blaystone, 195 Felslight, and 12 Bloods of Sargeras. In High Mountain, I mined 461 Laystone, 181 Felslight, and 4 Bloods of Sargeras. In Stormheim, I mined 570 Laystone, 205 Felslight, and seven Bloods of Sigurds. In Suramar, I mined 877 Playstone, 315 Felslate, and eight Bloods of Sigurds. How do you get um, Living Laystone rank to rank three? Is he basically just do this on this beach for the first two ranks. I and then after that, for me, I was on this beach for another three to four hours, wondering why I wasn't being ranked three. Apparently, Blizzard saw how good of a spot this was. Instead of nerfing the spot, Blizzard decided that rank three doesn't drop from this spot. Rank three actually drops in. Stormheim from a spot that's like right here. <laughs> Just farm those Laystone Basilisks and you'll get it. So I spent four hours just mining this. <laughs> I did that um weeks ago. I already explained this before on stream, but um I I, I felt the need to just explain it again. <laughs> because um, you will not get rank 3 here. You will not. And all rank 3, it feels it does, is uh, it'll make it like... Laystone is almost guaranteed from them, but not quite. It's like a 90... It's like an 85 to 90% it's feeling like. See, I didn't even get one from that. <laughs> or that. So it's not guaranteed, but I feel like if you work hard enough to get rank 3, you probably should at least get one from each and every single one. At least, at least one. But when you do get rank 3, you do see sometimes you'll have a, a Basilisk that drops like 3. And you only saw that, like, uh, times two, with rank one and two. How do I know this? I've been here quite a while. Testing this spot out. And this spot is actually pretty good if you just don't want to fly around it's searching for nodes. Ask me how I... It, more like, don't ask me how I know. <laughs> it, it's too much pain and suffering. Look, I got three from that. But, sadly, that's like the maximum you're gonna get from these. And then, but, while you're... If you do the mining route, you're gonna get these spawning as you're, like, mining the, the nodes. And those ones will actually drop, like, ten. Ten or eleven. And then you can't mine them. Or wait, you can? You can mine them. But the, um... It's the, it's the, um... It's the Dreamleaf flowers that you can't, like, herbalize after, like, slaying them. 
and the seams when you find them. Yeah, I uh, I actually got um, seams to rank three <laughs> while doing my uh, testing uh, yesterday. I did an hour for each zone, and High Mountain is it did the worst. But then again, I wasn't using a root, so um, <laughs> I wasn't using a root for any of them because I didn't want to like over optimize it and like make it feel like. It was impossible for a new player to do it. Although this is a guide, I didn't optimize my farms with roots, so this guide can be considered a minimum. Well, a minimum with rank 3 mining. But if you get more ore than me, it's really good. More gold for you. So use a root if you want to optimize further. Oh, and before I forget, use this item called Demon Steel Stirrups. It will allow you to interact with anything while on a map. It does not work with flight form though. So this is a time we will see Druid's announced mining. Something really nice about this item is, is that you don't need to be fully grounded to mine nodes. Sometimes it will air code to tell you that you are flying, but eventually you can find that sweet spot where you are clearly floating and not landed and can mine the node. The downside of this item is that it has a two hour duration. So sadly, it's not a bounty equipment that you can set and forget. Normally, right? Okay, here's the result of the lazy laystone farm. I got 550 laystone from this. Well, I went two minutes over, so it's really 535 and six bloods of Sargeras. It's not that bad of a farm, honestly, but I will leave it up to you guys if the lazy farm is worth it instead of flying around it aimlessly or with a root. Sure, the numbers say doing it the normal way is better, but I did the research for you for the living in Laystone. Do what you will for your farming ways. Oh, and don't forget, you can trade in one blood of Sargeras for 10 more laystone, so I got a lot more laystone to sell. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you like the video. I really like putting out this kind of content, and I hope to put out more in the future. Alright, I'll see you guys later. Derek out. Oh, we already went over an hour. Well, since we don't really get many, and I wasn't really, like really efficient to allow it, I guess. It's only two minutes. Okay. We got a total of 550 in an hour, a little over an hour, hours worth of work with six uh, Bloods of Sargeras.